Chinese scientists and clinicians have developed a learning artificial intelligence system which can diagnose and identify cancerous prostate samples as accurately as any pathologist. Well, here to tell me a little bit more is Dr. Cheng Wei Zhang from the Nanjing Drum Tower Hospital in China. Hello to you. Hi, nice to meet you. So tell me a little bit more about this research. Okay, so first we know that the Artificial intelligence is a hot topic really in, in our daily life because like the we, we know about the AlphaGo, we know about the uh, driverless cars or some smartphones. So so the artificial intelligence it has it really has a, a big pro prospect in, in the medical research field. So we we would like to use the art, art, uh, artificial intelligence to diagnose the, the prostate cancer. Right. And so you showed the software lots of different samples and it began to learn the cancerous yeah. ones and the non-cancerous ones? Yeah, so we first mm -hmm. to diagnose the, with the samples with the cancer or non-cancer and the accuracy is, it is very inspiring results. It is highly uh, of about 99.38%. 99 pro, 99 pro, uh, it is really high, uh, it is really good results and uh, um, so, so it is a high, it is, as accuracy as a real pathologist. Right? So it's a very, very high accuracy right. rate. Right. So what is your prediction for this software? Is it going to replace human pathologists? Uh, we, we hope in the future we can do this because you know in China, somewhere real, the pathologists do not have a good, good diagnostic skill. So uh, use uh, artificial intelligence, we can so, so Every area, every regions, they have a same area, a same skill, same diagnostic skill. So we can use this uh, this skill to have many respects and have many areas to to do it. I think. Do you think in the short term maybe this won't replace pathologists, but it will just be a tool to help them, to assist them? Yeah, we can. So we can. So we know the pathologists. They, Every day they have many sections, we have many pathologic sections, samples to be to diagnose, di di diagnose diagnosis. So uh, we can use this uh, method and uh, we can use uh, artificial intelligence they can to have the diagnosis first. Mm, and they, you, you, we know that they can diagnose very quickly and exactly, exactly and rapidly. So the, and then the pathologist they can to do their they are to perform the diagnosis in the future. Then they can make the diagnosis in the future and uh, we combine the interfa combine the results of both AIs and the real uh, famous pathologists. We can get the, the, the final diagnosis very quickly. And so the next stage is to do clinical trials. What do you expect there? Yeah, so in the future, uh, we, we we need to first we need to enlarge our samples. So in our research, we have just uh, one thousand uh, per month pathologic samples to 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 for our machine uh, machine training. So in the future, we can enlarge it from our first, and then maybe in the clinical trial. Or actually, we want to do the artificial intelligence in the MR imaging uh, diagnosis. So maybe in the future, we can. As soon as we get the MR imaging, we can get the pathology results. We can get the patient if if he has the cancer or 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 if 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 how the malignancy it, it was it is. So I think uh, in the future the the artificial intelligence they have a big prospect in the medical field in the future. So the right. next step is maybe to use this uh, software for the MRI imaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my, our. Uh, I think it's our six, uh, next, next, next to do. Yeah. That's the next yeah. thing to do. Well, good luck with your research, Dr. Zhang. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much.